Yo, what's up you guys? It's Grim here and welcome back to day 10 of the Redstone Academy. In the last episode, we went over T flip flops. If you missed that, the link will be in the description below. I would highly recommend watching this before continuing as the next few episodes will most likely be the most confusing and include the most complex circuits that we have discussed. So all in all, I'd highly recommend watching this so that you stay up to pace. In this episode, however, we will be going over logic gates. Logic gates are by far the most important circuits, in my opinion, when it comes to complex builds. They allow for certain lines being on and off to affect the output of uh, different lines and what they can do based on the combinations that you put in. Now, just a friendly reminder as well, the link to each world will be in the description of the respective video, meaning that day one will be in day one and day two and day two and so on. One last thing, this series is based upon the bedrock edition of Minecraft and the results may vary between versions. However, the concepts do remain the same. Now, with all that being said, let's get right into it. All right, now in front of me here, I have a bunch of different various little logic gates now there aren't many designs so i'm gonna be sharing with you because pretty much it's all situational how you use these but you just need to really learn the concept of these so that's really the hardest part to understand is learning a every single name and b uh what every single one does and how to actually wire it effectively all right so without further ado let's get right into it day 10 logic gates all right so logic gates a gate that only allows signals through if the logic is satisfied so what that means is that with all these different gates uh some of them are set up differently to where one switch needs to be turned on both switches need to be turned on both switches need to be turned off one switch on one switch off uh vice versa and it's all based upon the gate that you choose so what this book is really saying is that uh, with the gate that you choose you're going to set up a specific combination and that combination will give you the desired outcome Okay, so before I make this too confusing, let's just go ahead and uh, run into a few of these so that I can explain myself a little bit better. All right, so up first, we have a NOT gate. A gate used when an opposite output is wanted from the input given is basically just an inverted circuit. Uh, you learn those way in the beginning if you have watched this series and is literally, th this is a NOT gate right here. It's just the exact opposite of what you want to happen. As you can see here, uh, the, the lever is off. And when I turn the lever on, it's going to make this uh, light up. But what you want is the exact opposite of that. So that means that uh, the torch is going to turn off, obviously, when it is given power. And that is then going to just turn off the rest of the circuit. All right, up next here, this is uh, the simplest first logic gate that we are going to be looking at. And that is a OR gate. So this is a gate which uses two or more inputs. And whenever any input is on, the output is also on. The only time when the output is off is when every single input is off. So this one is pretty self-explanatory. An OR gate is probably the first one that you will ever learn and have probably actually used these subconsciously without even knowing it. And basically it is where you can have two inputs and if either the inputs are on, then the uh, circuit is going to go ahead and light up. But if one input is on, it is going to stay lit up. Even if you turn one off and another one is on, it's going to stay on. So you do need to have both off to be off. Both on is obviously going to stay the same, except just a little less power from one line or something like that. All right, the next one we have is a NOR gate, the opposite of an OR gate. Whenever at least one switch is toggled to on, the output is toggled to off. The only time when an output is on is when all inputs are toggled to off. So basically what you're doing here is you're putting a NOT gate and you're putting an OR gate together to create a NOR gate. So what's going on here is if you turn one of these on, uh, the circuit is going to turn off as you can see there the land turns off if you turn both of them on obviously uh the circuit is going to stay off if you turn the initial one off and leave the second one on obviously still going to stay off and if you turn them both off then the circuit is going to go ahead and turn back on all right up next we have an and gate this is used with two or more switches or other inputs so the input is toggled to on only when all inputs are on otherwise the output will remain off so what we got going on here is a not gate right here and then we have an and gate right here so what's going on is this torch is obviously going to be powering this line and this torch is also going to be powering this line meaning that if i turn this one off it is still going to be powered and what you want to do is turn both off so that this comes unpowered so that this torch right here will then 
uh, be able to gain power and then power this, which will power the rest of the circuit. When I turn this off, as you can see here, that is what AND gate is. It's you want to have everything off so that the circuit is on. And if even one is out of like, you know, out of sync, then it is not going to work. This is a uh, pretty, this is what you use when you make um, combination locks. This is a circuit that you would use in like a combination lock per se. And let me explain. So when you use this in a combination lock, you can have a third one right here, right? So what's going on here is let's say that you, this is a combination, right? Well, you have to guess the combination. You put this one and this one down. Well, that's not going to work. But what if you turn this last one off? Because if you turn both the, the outside ones off, then the circuit turns on, right? Well, no, because you have this one down, meaning that this is a very simple combination lock to figure out. But for as long as this middle one is down, it's not going to work. But if you put it up, it is going to work again. So that's a simple little combination lock. You can make it way bigger, way more complicated if you really want to. But that's just one little example. Up next is a NAND gate. So this turns the output off only when both inputs are on and the reverse of an AND gate pretty much. So as you can see right here, instead of putting a NOT gate on the back, we just instead have two torches that are directly hooked up to the levers. And unless both of them are off, it will not work and the same thing can be said for this one as far as a combination lock goes you can have a third one in the middle and obviously uh let's say that you're trying to power the thing off instead of powering it on you would use a nand gate and uh unless you get the right combination once again it's not going to turn off it's going to stay on all right and the last section is the most complicated one so this is a uh, azor gate now it, it's pronounced like z o R it's not shore gate it's a zor gate so this is a gate that uses two inputs and the output is toggled to on when one switch is on and one switch is off so what this is saying is if both switches are on the output is going to be off if both switches are off the output is going to be off if one switch is on the output is going to be on like i said before both switches on is going to be off one switch on one switch off is going to be on both switches off is going to be off so this is a circuit where one power source has to be on one power source has to stay off and then it will go ahead and create a little thing to where it will be powered on if you give it the right conditions right circuit and like i said uh you can either copy this i will put a world download uh in the description below as usual so you can either copy this design or like i said it's very situational you can go ahead and create your own and throw that into your world and go ahead and customize it to your build specifically but these are very confusing to understand unless you literally follow templates or you just know them and how they work all right and the last one is an x nor gate so this is the opposite of a zor gate it uses two inputs when both switches are in the same state both switches are on or both switches are off then the output is toggled to on so unlike this one over here the zor gate uh this one is favored to having symmetry versus a zigzag pattern like this as you can see here when both switches are off the output is on back there when one switch is on, one switch is off, the output is off. When both switches are on, the output is on. Once again, if I were to turn the left switch off this time, it is going to go ahead and power down. So the XNOR gate is the exact opposite of a ZOR gate. It's a very situational, like I said, good for combinations, big, complicated builds. I wouldn't ever use these in tiny builds or tiny uncomplicated builds these these are ones for giant builds definitely um but these are all situational i really hope that i explained these well uh we can do another part to this video if you do want me to put in a couple of different designs but it's really hard to give explicit designs except for these base template models so go ahead and let me know in the comments if you do want that i can shoot out uh, a part two to this let uh this gate video and uh if you guys want me to put up a couple designs or i can just throw them in the discord whatever you want all right you guys and that is going to wrap it up for this video today this is either going to come really easily to you or you are going to be re-watching this video and scratching your head for the next two hours i can already tell but all in all logic gates are not that hard to understand as long as you study if you just learn the names and learn the basics of each one they become very useful and very easy to just uh, put into your builds and the sooner that you learn these and get them down packed the sooner and easier that redstone will get so that you aren't sitting there scratching your head like hey 
how can I do this or how can I do that? Logic gates are the answers to a lot of things. And then the next episode is going to be latches, which will solve every single other problem. So with all that being said, if you did like this video though, go ahead and leave a like. And if you are new around here and have not subscribed, do consider doing that. It would help out a lot. And with all that being said, I've been Grim, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.